Today, as we walk daily in the Word, we'll begin a book of the Bible dedicated to the attribute of wisdom. And it comes straight from the source, King Solomon, the wisest man who ever lived. The goal of this writing, as stated in its pages, is to describe what wisdom is and to help God's people, you and I, become wise. It tells us that wisdom is found in the fear of the Lord and describes how wisdom allows us to express our faith in everyday circumstances. In chapter 1, wisdom is personified as a woman shouting in the city streets. Listen to what she says starting in verse 20. Wisdom shouts in the streets. She cries out in the public square. She calls to the crowds along the main street, to those gathered in front of the city gate. How long, you simpletons, will you insist on being simple-minded? How long, you mockers, will you relish mocking? How long will you fools hate knowledge? Come and listen to my counsel. I'll share my heart with you and make you wise. In this passage, we're introduced to three types of people, referred to often throughout the book of Proverbs. First, the simple. The simpleton is the person who's not firmly committed to either wisdom or folly. So they're easily misled. The second person is the fool. The foolish person constantly opposes wisdom. They're the anti-wisdom, if you will. And then there's the wise, the person who embraces God's plan for their life and lives out every day in his wisdom. So what's in the book of Proverbs for you and I? The answer, I believe, is found in the last verse of chapter 1. But all who will listen to me will live in peace, untroubled by fear of harm. And that's my hope, my prayer for you and I today, as we read through these Proverbs day by day and embrace them and apply them to our lives, that you and I will live in peace and allow the wisdom of the Almighty to take care of all of our troubles.